muddy water. You know, some people love it, some people hate it, but I'm gonna tell you right now, there's a reason the likes of Josh Jones and Hayden Jeffries, the ones that's winning all these crappy masters. You know, Josh Jones even said himself, he only liked to fish the tournaments that the lakes were muddied. And in today's video, I'm gonna explain why. What's going on guys? Welcome back to Turner Fishing or welcome to Turner Fishing. I'm Steven Turner. So muddy water. What's the trick to muddy water? Why do I personally think it's the best water for crappy fishing? And honestly, it all boils down to what the fish do when that water gets muddy. Uh, you know, a clear water fish, they're going to be hiding in structure. They're going to be around structure. You're going to find them on structure. You're going to find them in them creek channels with structure nearby. In muddy water, everything changes. And I've learned this over the past three or four years with forward-facing sonar that these fish act totally different. The bigger fish, now the smaller fish kind of act the same, but when you're targeting those two to three pound fish, muddy water makes it so much simpler. So basically when, the, when your lake gets muddy, what actually happens is you're, the whole water column is not muddy, but they would rather be up in that top you know five feet of water 10 feet of water that actually has the mud the soot and all that other than being down there in that clear water because of why a crappy spends the majority of his life being a prey whether they want to admit it or not you know they they're a carnivore too they go out there and eat their own they eat their shad they eat the minnows uh, they eat crappy man jigs but once they get to that bigger size the pound and a half the 14 to 18 inch size I swear every time I'm trying to make a video, we had a dang tractor coming down the road. Anyways, those bigger class fish feel more secure in that muddier water. A, because they're not being hunted down by your largemouth bass, your striper, your catfish. They're actually, you know, they feel like they're in the brush pile up there in that, that first water column. And I don't care if your water is really, really cold, really, really hot. If you have a muddy water condition, those fish are going to be in that top level of that mud. Today's video sponsor the b1 f7 gb2 drone from ruku.net i'll have everything linked down below but if you want a drone that is affordable and has the same features as a really really expensive drone i mean straight out the box as soon as i set this thing up it didn't take me but maybe 30 minutes and i was flying this thing all over the place is you, it comes with a, a, a FAA remote, a 4K camera with a three axis gimbal. You can actually move the camera while you're up in the air with the remote. Uh, you're able to capture night scenes. You know, it's got a better camera for seeing at dark. It doesn't have night vision, but you're able to capture really good images at night. It comes with two batteries. You're able to fly for up to almost an hour which a lot of the, the two to $300 drones, you're only gonna get 20 minutes of flight time. So that's insane. So go check out the B1 F7 GB2 on Ruku.net. I'll have everything linked down below. It's actually $200 off right now. It makes an awesome present for yourself, a loved one, or anybody looking to get into the camera world or even just having a drone to fly around that's fun. All the footage that you're seeing behind me was captured with this drone. I took it down to Clouds Creek. You know, you can see the water's down. I'm able to go just pretty much anywhere and see lay downs and stuff when I'm on the bank. Maybe I want to walk to them or something like that. But I appreciate Ruku.net for sponsoring today's video and sending out a B1 F7 GB2 drone. Link in the description. Go grab you one if you've ever thought about owning a drone. This year we had a lot of rain. I pulled up to a dock. There was no fish on the dock. And I happened to, to turn the boat around. And I found a pound 80 fish just sitting out there in the mud. And the trick to these fish are there, there is no trick. These fish are hungry because the shad go back to the backs of the creek trying to find clearer water. Shad cannot survive in that dirty water very good. So the shad are looking for clearer water. These fish are hungry because they don't have really a lot of bait fish around in order for them to eat efficiently. So when you drop a jig on their face, they're going to bite it. So they're up in that top five, that five feet of water, and these fish become just 
I don't know. I, I don't know what they do. They they don't move. You you see them on the sonar. You see them wherever, and you go up to them. They don't move, and that's why the like the, all these pros love muddy water because it makes these fish so much easier to trick into biting. So much easier to get up on and able to get them to bite. They don't run away. They sit there. They sit there and they wait. And when you drop a jig in there, they're gonna bite it. So if you're ever faced with a muddy water condition, so you get a lot of rain this spring, we're getting a lot of rain now. I'm pretty sure the rivers are gonna start getting stained, which I'm ready for. I'm waiting on it. I'm, I'm ready to get back on out on the water. But don't hesitate to get out there in that mud, figure out an area that's holding fish. Now, every area that you normally fish in probably is not gonna have a lot of fish because of the mud. But there are just, you're gonna hit the jackpot. You may have to run around the lake a little bit. You may have to check this creek, check this creek, check this river channel. But when you find a couple of those bigger fish, I can guarantee you, if you stay in that one area, you can limit out on 14 to 18 inch fish up there, five feet of water, get a 13 foot pole, drop it in their face you know drop a crappy man jig in their face i like to use the big fluke the two 2.5 inch flute i use the orange one uh orange and green sometimes orange and chartreuse uh straight chartreuse and that's pretty much the only bait i use in the mud because that bait has a lot of ribs on it so it's making a lot of commotion in that water column that's one of the main things about fishing in the mud you've got to adapt your fishing style you know, I'm going to be making a couple of videos about the mud here in the next couple of weeks. But your bait needs to make a lot of noise in that water. It needs to make their lateral lines see the bait. They'll come up to the bait and they'll eat it. So I hope, you know, this part one of this little muddy water thing, just to kind of give you a glimpse of what's about to happen on your home body of water. You know, if you enjoyed today's video, hit that thumbs up button for me. I appreciate Roku.net for sponsoring today's video, sending out this amazing drone to get more shots for you guys for these videos. Like I said, this is a plug and play drone. You literally set it up, charge the batteries, connect it to your phone, and you're flying away.